So, how's everybody doing? <laughs> it's like Emily got a haircut. Karen needs a haircut. And five. Yeah, I think we split a shorter game. Wow. Anyone else on here? Have you got? I'm here. Have you got me, Karen? I'm here. Yeah. Hi, Karen. Hmm. Ah, it's that person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's way better. What do we oh, do? Hi. <laughs> okay. Oof. Is that you, Andrea? Is, are you in your kitchen, or is that you, Linda? So, it sounds like somebody's in their kitchen. Somebody's in my kitchen. Have to ask them to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for your patience, everybody. I was on my way home and didn't quite get here in time, and and then was trying to get on for some reason. I don't know why. We just couldn't get on that one. Anyway. Is Anthony? Anthony's on the call this time. Yeah, he usually is. He just but has a hard time. We can't see him though, right? I can see Anthony. I can today. I hear him. Ah, uh, maybe not. No. He doesn't look like he can hear us talking hello? about him. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> Say hello again, Anthony. Tony, hello. Go ahead. Woo! Hey. <laughs> It only took six weeks. That's <laughs> good. Thank you. Look you. At, I wasn't quick on the draw enough for that one, but hold on. Oh. Sorry, I wasn't fast enough. <laughs> now I don't see a thing to to. Record this. Is it doing it automatically? Do you think, Daniel? Do you yes, remember? Yes, it, it, it automatically records, and at the end you oh, get okay. a link to say that it's been posted to YouTube. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. It seems to me that the so the just so everyone knows because we've been playing with this, the regular Google Hangouts are for up to ten people, and it looks like you can schedule them for a group in advance, and people can sign on without the leader being there. Um, the on-air Google Hangouts are a completely different thing. They're set up in a different spot. And it looks like you can schedule them, but they won't automatically start. So you end up starting a new one anyway. Like every time we've tried one, hmm. it seems that we've had to start from scratch setting it up. So it doesn't automatically start. So something's missing there. Anyway, they seem to be two different things. From, like even though they're branded the same thing, um, they seem to be two different functionalities. So, mm -hmm. and you can't start a private one and flip it to a public one. I found that out the first week. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least now you know. Now you know everything. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting better. Mm -hmm. But I'm impressed with everybody who's been able to get on. Yeah. Yeah. So Tony, you got six weeks to make up. What's going on, buddy? <laughs> yes, finally. <laughs> I feel like you were dying to say some stuff. How are things going? Slow and steady. Yes, it was very frustrating. Every week it would do something different. So, <laughs> but now finally. <laughs> Your comments have been good on the on the uh, wiki spaces, though. Yeah. yeah, I tried to do as much as I could. <laughs> My computer was yeah. imploding. <laughs> so how is how is everybody doing with the content? Um, we've now got just so you know, we've got all the content is now posted. Um, we don't have new content coming out next week. Next week is kind of our wrap up, um, get caught up, wrap up kind of week. Um, so all the content is there. 
I think most people are up to about seven, uh, six or seven A, so there's still a bit of work for everybody to do, I think, out there. Um, how are people feeling about, about that? Pretty good. Uh, I've been talking with Brenda and Marion over email about the the group things that I did not realize were a group thing at first. <laughs> me either, me either, Emily. I can't see the videos at work, so I didn't see the video till the very end. Yeah, wow. I waited until my lunch break to watch the video, and then I was like, well, crap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's working out. Okay, okay. Good. Yeah, it seems kind of funny to not have any content posted next week, but I kind of felt people would rather have it sooner than later, and you can work on it if you have time, and then if not, then, um, you know, do what you can, and then, like I say, we'll kind of wrap things up um, next week. Next uh, week's one, right? What's that? Next week's the last conference yeah. call? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And what we're hoping, we made it a little bit longer, we're hoping that um, wherever people are in their um, reports, if you're, if you're doing an assign the major assignment, um, we're hoping that people will be able to talk a bit about what they're doing and talk to the group. Um, I would say at this point you don't have to have 100% completed, but if you can give us an idea of, about your project, that would be great um, if anyone's gotten that far. Uh, we talked about this before. I think we had a couple of people who kind of uh, said that they would be interested in doing a bit of a, a presentation. Um, you know, I think that that's. I, I, I personally think that that would be really fascinating for for folks who are willing to do that. You know, maybe five minutes um, of a bit of a presentation to the group of what you're what you're thinking about. You know. Um, if you were thinking about presenting this within your organization, you know, how would you how would you present your ideas? Um, I'm a big fan of presenting, so you know, I think that that's something that uh, you know next week we should we should certainly uh, look to do. For the paper part, can would you prefer that we email you a document, or can we just like uh, share a file with you over Google Drive? Either one's fine. Either one. Either yeah. Fine? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah. Cool. I yeah, said so I if you're co-authoring something, that's fine. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. I said I said I was gonna definitely do an assignment and now I'm not sure. And there's I have a good reason though, it's not I I, I uh, I'm switching jobs. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I, I still might I, I still might try and get it together, but it, okay. it it depends on what else I have in my head. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, if you're, yeah, Karen, if you're thinking of doing the full like certificate, um, you know, you can always finish that up after the next course as well. You can always, you know, yeah, I'm, switch I'm gears and do something different. Yeah. I'll tell you what the problem is: is that the Air Force might only be able to fund one person on that course, and it's the Air Force that's just hiring me. Ah. Okay. Anna. <laughs> 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 so anyway. So. Enough of me. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully we'll be able to run it more than once. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm congratulations. When do you start on that new position? Uh, I think in about 10 days. Wow. Ten very fast. That's cool. Yeah, it'd be funny. I thought Joanna was going to be on here, and then she'd say that they had stolen me, but no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's, it'll be interesting. I'm I'm definitely a candidate for doing uh, the assignment at the end of the next course. Okay. It's Marjorie. Yeah. 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 That's fine. Yeah. I think the plan with this particular course um, is that if you follow through the weekly assignments, it a large part of it adds up to that project, that that larger assignment. Mm -hmm. So um, that kind of informs it, but um, but the timing-wise, I know it's maybe not the best, so that's fine. So is anybody on track to uh, do a bit of a presentation next week? Anybody putting a hand up? I was just scratching my face. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's like, don't look at me. I'm not even sure what I'm going to be doing. Okay. It keeps keep changing every time. 
Yeah, I'm having a bit. I'm having a hard time kind of visualizing it as a whole. Okay. You know, I, I, I Keep going. Like, I, don't feel like, I don't feel like I have a firm grasp on what I'm doing. I, I, I haven't pulled the parts all together in yet. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, I wonder, Daniel, if, if I wonder if we look at previous assignments, if that would be helpful. I wonder if you it would for me. Share. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think we'd have to get the permission of the person who did the assignment first. Um, yeah. So yeah. you know, we could, you know, we'd have to we'd have to get them to say yes before n now and next week. Um, yeah. The likelihood of that is I, I'm not sure, but you know. Um, um, I'm just thinking if there's, yeah. a, you know, another. Is, is there are there any? I mean, are there any particular elements to the assignment that that um, you know would be helpful for us to talk through tonight, Linda? You know, I I definitely you know would like to give Tony an opportunity to kind of share some stuff with us because I think um, you know you've, you've you've been valiant uh, every week in, in joining, but not necessarily <laughs> given the opportunity. So I do I do want to you know give you the, give you a bit of a. An opportunity there, but perhaps if, if there are questions about the assignment, you know, or, or things that people want to talk about, we can we can certainly go over those, you know, as well. No, let's hear Tony first. Mm -hmm. Sure. <clears throat> I don't see any though. You can't see me. No. I can see you. I can, I can see, see you. Him. Oh, great. Ah. <laughs> Linda, what about sometimes if you move, on mine, I've got a band of people at the bottom, and if I move it across, sometimes the person on the bigger screen pops up. Yeah, I don't have an option to move to move the band, though. It's really I hate Google. <laughs> you, can, you can actually try clicking on his face. May I just say Yahoo groups were really well a few years ago. <laughs> Oh, yeah, if you click on the person and they come up. Cool. No, I didn't no, realize no. that. Oh, well, I'll take you guys' word for it that he's there. Mm -hmm. Good enough. <laughs> You're not trying to gaslight. So, Tony, how are you finding things? Good so Oh, he far. disappeared! Oh, there. <laughs> oh, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, it's, it's all... Because we've already, we're way past pilot project. So when we, when I go through the weekly stuff and when I look at all the comments and try and, and do the discussion questions, it's kind of, um, it's putting it all into perspective and context because we're already sort of doing it, and I have so mm -hmm. I, I'm kind of having to go back and 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 think about it again and try and and put it all back into into place and into something coherent for the final assignment. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what are some of the things that you're doing? Maybe you could give us a, you know, talk talk through a little bit on, on, on your organization or some of the things you feel you can share with us. Sure. Well, the two big ones that were on our Twitter and Facebook, um, because that's where our, our students sort of tend to live. I work at a college in Ontario, so mm -hmm. um, it's where the students are. I mean, for my job, I, I work most of my time in our um, library computer lab, so I can see what they're doing on their screens, mm. and usually they're working on something, but they have Facebook off to the side or in the background, or they have their handy little, and they're on Twitter. Mm -hmm. So um, trying to, it's making content relevant to them. Um, certainly, for, we use it to market things, but like right now, it's midterm week, so if it's not relevant or it doesn't catch them in some way, um, they're just going, going to ignore it. So it's just it's going back and trying to make it less of a marketing tool, less like we're yell barking things at them, and and trying to actually engage with them. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 I mean, the power of so the social tools is that they're social, so you can actually build a rapport, you can build a relationship, like you say, engage with people. And that's a bit of an art to it because so many organizations are used to just the old style of marketing or it was like pushing a message out and not having that two-way conversation. And so it's a, it's a whole 
different sort of thing. It's it's actually going back to really older times when you just used to see people on the street and didn't have any sort of you know technology to communicate with people, right? Mm -hmm. Like that's how you talk to people was that one-on-one -on -one relationship. You would build it and get word of mouth out mm -hmm. to people. So it's sort of going back to that old style of relationship building. But we have these powerful tools that allow us to reach over across geography and time. Um, so just sort of taking those old methods and, and updating them. So it's mm. kind of interesting. Mm. Yeah, there's a, if anyone, has anyone read um, the Clue Train Manifesto? It's, mm. uh, I'll have to look it up. It, it, so it came out before the internet or, or it sort of predated, sorry, it came out before social media. It predated a lot of what social social media um, came out, and that's exactly what it talks about. It talks. It, it was meant for marketing people, but anyone can read it, obviously. And it was meant to talk about how the marketplace is actually made up of people, and actually starting conversations with real people. And that philosophy, interestingly enough, sort of informs social media. Um, even though it predates it. So let me pull up. It's actually, you can actually get it free on the internet. Let me see mm. if I can find that. It's, um, um, I got it right uh, here. It's cluetrain.com. Have you? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll post that. Okay. Great, Did anyone have a chance, to, or had you seen before, Connie or Daniel, the, the video that Transport Canada had on personal and professional use of social media? I posted a link to that. No. Um, no. Oh, okay. Great. I will yeah. look at that. Yeah. yeah I'll have a look at that. Actually, if I do Good. say, I can say that because we didn't do it. Yeah. It's <laughs> done by Transport Canada, and I, and we've I've actually borrowed it to send out to places to smack people for doing the wrong things. Mm. You know, take a look at this so you can see how you uh, how you're supposed to do it. Right. So where I'm sorry, um, Karen. Where did you post that I link? I posted it on one of the discussion forums. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, I'll have to, to go take a look then. Yeah. Now somebody shared GitHub. I think they shared GitHub with us. I know that they just released something as well. We got open government. Oh, let's see oh. if I can find that. I'm like Anthony okay. though, in that. Like what I'm finding is is that our group has put all, all these things in place already prior to me getting yeah. there. So mm -hmm. I'm going over all the things and and now I'm understanding a lot more um, what we're doing and why we did it and and what gaps there might still be. Mm. You know, but uh, good, good, yeah. Like it's been. A, I think they're finding me a little entertaining at work. With my latest greatest, have you thought of? <laughs> you know, but yes, they have. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and there's, I mean, there's different methodologies, there's different frameworks. Um, I think I like ours because it is pretty in all encompassing. But even without it, a lot of organizations are pretty good about, you know, getting there, even if it's organically, figuring out the pieces. But it may take a little longer. Um, mm -hmm. So. Yeah, it's interesting. It's good to hear, though, that organizations are are getting it. Um, to, I'm just going to post the GitHub um, government. They have a toolkit. I think they're calling it oh, yeah. for Canadian for Canadian government. The Canadian Web Experience Toolkit. I think that's what they're. Oh, calling that's it. the Web Toolkit. Oh, that's the Web Toolkit. Is that the that's one? That's the Web Toolkit. That's um, that's uh, for the new template for the federal websites. Oh yeah, stay away from. <laughs> mm -hmm. Everything is conservative blue now. Yeah. yeah. Well, the web toolkit uh, dictates the template for uh, government websites. Right. And uh, any features they have in there, you know, uh, how tables are uh, built, um, any functionality for the site should uh, follow basically what the web toolkit uh, prescribes. Mm. Okay. So that's essentially they've shared it in an open forum is what's happened. Yeah. Um, yeah, which is interesting. Hmm. The Treasury Board Secretariat put that together, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. to go through that in detail later. <laughs> 
It's very giddy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Did it, has anyone tried tried that um, policy toolkit that um, was posted in the um, second part of module seven? Has yeah. Anyone tried that out yet? How did you find that, Emily? Uh, it was pretty good. It was like Mad Libs for a social media policy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty straightforward. Uh, and then you know. You can email it to yourself at the end. So it was like, cool, I'll have this later. That's nice and easy. Yeah. 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 It basically kicks out a, if you answer the questions as you go through, it basically kicks out a policy for your organization. So yeah. I I quite like it. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. And we've had a lot of success with that. I mean, I think you have to go back and review it. You know, but I think as a as a as a baseline for policy in an area that uh, you know there's mm -hmm. not necessarily a lot of policy out there, I think that that tool does um, it provides a really good just basic policy that you can then you know uh, tweak or or modify as you need. But I do think that the policy that gets spit spit out from that is uh, pretty good. Which, which mm -hmm. tool was that in the module? I'm sorry. In seven B, um, yeah. it's it's part of the uh, the module assignment, I believe. Um, it's the social policy tool, and it's a website you go to. It's put together by David Canton, who's a lawyer at Harrison Pence, uh, which is a law firm in London, Ontario. So it's Canadian specific, and um, it generates. You plug in, like it asks you a series of questions right. about your organization, and it, and it basically spits out a policy, social media policy for you, quite a sophisticated one, um, as you're, you can use as your starting point. I think I connected to it back at the very beginning of the yeah. of this course. Yeah. You had a link to it, and I. Oh, it's possible. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you yeah. do. Yeah. yeah. No, it's, really, yeah, it's very. It's very. Your uh, video was really helpful. Good. Oh, that's pretty exciting. <laughs> I'm One significantly thing I, behind. <laughs> One thing I didn't talk about in the policy section was. Um, a concept that I heard about from a, a company called AMD, and they, they create um, computer chips um, based, well, the company here in Toronto, anyway, their social media policy is based on a stoplight system, so red, amber, and green. Mm -hmm. And what they do is any sort of communication that comes out internally, they will post a little stoplight indicator mm -hmm. on it, red, amber, or green. Um, indicating to people, um, red means this cannot go out of the company, outside of the company. Um, amber means check with us first, like check with the communications department or marketing department before you talk about this. And green means go ahead and talk to anyone about this. And oh. they put that on anything that comes out and it just lets people know what they can and can't talk about publicly. Um, so I, I quite like that system, and I meant to talk about that in the video from 7B, but um, it's a nice little model. It's easy for people to understand. <laughs> Your yeah. video was helpful in that. I saw that at the beginning, like uh, I think someone else mentioned, but I, I was afraid to try it because the first thing they asked for is your company's name, and I and I wasn't comfortable doing oh, okay. it on your video that we yeah. could use any name, and I went, oh, okay. That's a, that's a <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, We're so used to being so honest. Yeah. yeah. The the Transport Canada link is on is in the answer that I put on tackling risk I think in the module seven. Okay. Great. If anyone else wants to see it that. later. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so you know, are there any any questions? You know, going back to your comment earlier, Linda, about the assignment. Um, you know, you were you're saying that you're having a little bit of trouble with it. You know, is there anything specific about the assignment that anybody wanted to talk about, or anything that's not clear, or you know, um, any any of the topics that we could discuss as a group? Um, just trying to think of different parts of the assignment we could go over. I'm just having a hard time visualizing it as a. I guess I'm still stuck in the individual modules, and I haven't 
kind of pieced them all together yet. Okay. Right. Right. There is. We did we, Dan. Did we post the table of contents for the whole thing? Yeah. 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 I think you did. Yeah. Yeah. So how would you do it? Would you go through and follow each one of those and answer them as your plan? Yeah, like the table. Use the table of contents and and sort of plug in your answers from the different pieces. You you may have to finagle it a little bit to make it fit into the into the table of contents, but mm -hmm. um. But we're hoping that having done that work in advance, it will allow you to um, fill that out a little more robustly. Yeah. Yeah. Each one of the sections really ties back to you know a part of one of the modules. So you know you it, it's not in the order of the modules. It's really more in the order of what a project plan should be. So it's not the same as the model that we're, we're using and or the modules that we've got in that particular order. But every single one of those is ties back to, to a particular focus within each one of the modules. So look at it as, you know, as an outline, um, a table of contents. So each one of those could be the heading, you know, the objectives. You start with the objectives. You might want to put the policy in there as an appendix or as part of the plan to say that, you know, you've been thinking about policy and this is what you know, the, your organization could look to as a sample policy. Um, we've talked about monitoring tools and what's available out there. You know, if you've done a little bit of research about your organization or a fake organization or a person within your organization from the listening station, if you've been paying attention to that, you know, you might have some initial insight for that. You know, each one of the pieces really does match back to the, um, the modules that we've, we've talked to, uh, talked through. So I would say, you know, start with each number and then just build it out um, using it as kind of the, the skeleton and, and start filling it in based on the modules and the work that you've been doing all along. I mean, that's, I think, what, you know, the, the, the way that we did the course previously, it was one day. So people had time after that one day to um, do it all at once. Whereas in this course, you know, over the over the seven weeks, um, you know, each of the succession uh, modules should be of helping you to build that final final assignment. So, could you give um, just a couple of examples, maybe, of like an object? An, uh, for me, what we would call would be the aim, the the uh, aim of the at the very top, or, or an objective. You okay. know, like you know, to like for me, if I was to say to create a social media policy for the army, it would be you know, 30 pages, right? So maybe a couple, yeah. some small mm -hmm. examples of... Um, yeah, we're, we're trying to focus it down a lot smaller. So yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, because we sort of, I mean, I can understand if you already have something big in place. We're, we're sort of saying if you're starting out, um, play with something smaller. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's so, exactly yeah, so for instance, um, and I'm going to take, I, I don't know if anyone will be using this type of example, but say that you decide that, okay, um, part of your recruitment strategy for your organization, so new employees, you're looking for new employees, um, and you decide that your objective for your organization is to, or I don't know if AIM is the same thing, um, an objective to your recruitment strategy is to reach out more to um, friends of existing employees. So you decide that that's a target group. You really like your employees, existing employees. This this is a technique that call centers use actually. They they if they find a really good group that they're working with, the theory is that there are other their friends are potentially other good people they might want to have working for them as well. So they might decide that, okay, we're going to build some kind of um, a little plan that encourages the people who already are working for us to spread the word through their social networks. Ah. Mm -hmm. So um, reach out to their friends. So thinking about, okay, what is that demographic? What age group are they? Are they male and female? Um, what kind of lifestyle do they have? So, so you do get into some demographic work. Um, in that respect, and then thinking about, okay, what's the best way to to promote this? You know, do you give them a financial incentive? Do you create a little video series that's easy for them to share with their friends in Facebook? You know, thinking about where are they and, and thinking about, okay, what kind of tools? Um, or do you get them to help build it out, those, those employees? Do you get them to... Um, 
you know, I don't know, videotape something or create a photo or do something that will attract their friends in. And then, so, I don't know, does that help? It does help um, a lot. <laughs> that okay. Kind of Think of objectives as a goal. So an objective is the end of what you're trying to accomplish. Talking right? about taking a little piece of it and yeah. narrowing it down to that one effort. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So can I? So then, it doesn't have to be, you know, uh, so large and encompassing. Like I'm thinking about a social um, engagement strategy for the organization. I can just say we would really like to do X, and that becomes the objective. And from there, I build out the yeah. Uh, yeah. the right. assignment. Yeah. So it's so like. Yeah. A little bite of the elephant. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So the objective is the end goal, and what are the steps that you're going to take in order to get there, and how are you going to measure success? Right. You know those sorts of things. So building on top of what tools are you going to be using? Um, okay. If you were going to be doing any analysis, what sort of monitoring tools would you need? All so you know, I w I would say don't have more than three or four objectives um, for for your. I mean, that, that's my personal opinion. You could have fifty if you wanted to. Your your right. your plan will be. Yeah. All and you're that. welcome to and you're welcome to just work on one. <laughs> yeah. Could it be something like uh, how to take Canada Day and use that to uh, expand our number of followers. Yeah. Yeah. Could it be something like that? Yeah. So that's one of the ideas, but I think you have to think about turning that into an objective. Was what's the goal? What's the end point? So at the end of your pilot project or the end of your, you know, starting and stop, what is the end point going to be? So would it be to be like a tangible increase my audience by twenty five percent? Is is more of an objective? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Because yeah. that gives you that gives you a twenty five percent number, which gives you something to measure. So how are you? What are the tactics that you're going to do in order to get that twenty five percent number up? How are you going to measure that twenty five percent? Twenty five percent of what? New followers, um, uh, revisits to your to your website, or um, you know a certain amount of traffic going to your regular website via a social channel? Is Twitter going to be a way to kind of increase your traffic? So your objective could be increase traffic to our website by 50% using Twitter. So that's your goal, right? And then all of the steps that you're going to take in order to achieve that objective kind of fall fall from there. Yeah. Okay. So in my example of recruitment, um, the idea would be, you know, increase our our number of recruits by this number or you could say increase number of recruits who are friends of existing employees by this number by this date. Mm -hmm. something like that and then monitoring it as you go along to see what was the the rate of increase and figure out was it successful or not right um, yeah in the objective and then you might take you, sorry go ahead I'm sorry yeah keep go ahead go ahead no go ahead, you go, go I'm ahead. sorry okay so <laughs> I was gonna say you know you, we don't really talk about campaigns so much in social media because the idea is that they're ongoing they're not one-time thing but you might think about, you know, we're going to try this little bit of effort here, try this out with this tool, and if it doesn't work, you might tweak it, you might um, switch to something else and move on. So it, there is a bit of element of trying things out and playing with them to see what works. And sometimes things change over time, what's effective and what's not in social media. Things come and go in, in popularity, so that's yeah. part of it as well. Yeah. Oh, Marjorie just came back oh. on. Okay. You know, I, I was also thinking, you know, an objective could be um, the pilot project. So execute mm -hmm. a pilot project using Twitter. So, so that could be your objective is to have, um, you know, an adoption phase of trying to get people to, to, to follow a new Twitter account. So, you know, it's interesting. Every time we teach this course, that's the one thing that people – trip up on is this notion of what an objective is. I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm glad I brought it up then. Yeah. No, 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 and I, I'm, I'm saying that as, as just a curious thing. It's it, we, yeah. Right, Connie? I mean, we've, yeah. all, we've had that every yeah. single time. We, we, you know, that's something that um, trips people up. I uh, think because social media is so big and can do so much that it can be a lot to pinpoint exactly what you want to do because you right. want to do a lot. Right. That's what's possible. Right. So that's why you have to start with those objectives. You have to start with what the end, what the goal is, 
and then work back from there and, and try and not boil the ocean. You know, don't try and kind of uh, do way too much. Um, you know, but, 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 but be kind of laser like focus for the, for the assignment, especially, I mean, you, you could take the pattern of the assignment in the plan. And I think that the structure of it is, is sound. I think that we, as I, I think we've talked about before, we have had people who've presented their assignments as a fully baked plan to their organization. They, they may have expanded on a little bit, but we have had some people do that. So I, I think, um, you know, the, the 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 structure of that outline um, lends itself to a pretty good, robust plan. But you know, stick to to one to three objectives, I would say, and then build your build your assignment from there. And don't worry too much about trying to put everything in there. You know, for the purposes of the assignment, make it make it as simple as possible and then you know really think about the measuring and the various aspects of, of everything that we've been talking about throughout the course but you know reduce the scope as much as you can because otherwise you're going to get overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. So the same thing holds even if you have a big organ you know a, a fully blown plan for your organization think of it in terms of a new initiative. Um, mm -hmm. Some small piece that you're thinking of of starting that's new that isn't already being covered and it may take some thinking about that but that's an, a one way to approach it is as opposed to starting all the way from scratch as if you have nothing mm -hmm. to just thinking about well what's a gap, what's a piece of it that we don't have yet, what is something we're not doing yet um, and, and thinking it through. I mean in this, uh, for the purposes of this course it's really just to get you to, to learn how to do that. Um, whether it's for this organization or in your career future organization, but learning that process. Um, so much the way Karen has been, you know, trying to look and see where are the gaps, you know, it will allow you to do that later on mm -hmm. with your organization and figure out, okay, what, what are we missing along the way? Like, are we missing a piece of policy that should be in place? Um, are we, you know, is there something we should be addressing in terms of, if there's a, a, a business crisis, you know, how, how are we going to have that planned out? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, that could be a whole plan in itself is just what you do in the case of, uh, in the case of, of a crisis or emergency as well. So yeah. that's another idea. If you haven't, ta if your organization hasn't tackled that, that is a worthwhile thing as well. Yeah. I yeah. find that the questions that you're posting for each module are really good in getting me to try and analyze what we're doing. You know, like it gets you thinking about it differently, especially in light of some of the oh, good. articles. That's good. That's good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So based on that, there are a lot of, there's probably say, a lot of work. Sorry, I was going to say, but it, it, based on that conversation about objectives, is anybody feeling better? Anybody want to share like a, a, a hard objective that they think they might have? <laughs> uh, in mine, I think we're going to, our problem is getting students to come back after the first one because they don't get communication from us. Mm. So probably a certain percentage of increase in repeat students as opposed to new students because we have no problem with new students. Mm. There you go. That's a good one. That's a great objective. Mm -hmm. And that can be mm -hmm. measured, you know, depending on what you what you, what you want to do. If you just want to say increase, then, you know, as long as it goes up by 1%, you're like, it's good. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. How about you, Karen? Any, 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 any further? Um, well, ideas I've been listening because I've just found out that I'm switching to another part of the the military. I'm, I've been using that listening station and, and eavesdropping on everything Air Force all week. I set up a whole new, <laughs> good, <laughs> whole new thing, and it's been really good to see oh, cool. uh, to see who talks about them and what they're doing, and try and get a feel for their audience. And it has me thinking. They have a couple of uh, they have a big, I don't know what you call it, the, the model plane associations, a lot of those people who are in the uh, models, who yeah. follow them, which is weird. Oh, wow. And a lot of uh, military historians, which I, I'm not, and writers, interestingly enough. Yeah. So, so I'm coming oh, up interesting. with some ideas of who's tracking them, you know. Yeah. yeah. But, Sounds like they're... And then if any of those... Yeah, I was going to say, if any of those people are influential in their circles, they're good people to reach out to even if you, um, if there is no specific plan in place, but they could be for future initiatives, so yeah. it, it doesn't hurt to foster some relationships with, with a few of those people. 
Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm following most of them now, um, trying to see what, uh, but I don't know enough to engage them yet. I know nothing right. yet. They're all You're listening. Yeah, that's good, but that's that's the idea, yeah. right? You don't yeah. just I think in any it's like running into a cocktail party and barging in on somebody's conversation with a whole bunch. You know, I mean, it's not exactly the same, but you know, it it, it sometimes yeah. is better to just hang back and 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 listen. But you know, the other idea there is if those if those model plane enthusiasts have some kind of an event, you know, uh, and you know maybe there's an objective there. I'm just making this up, but you know, yeah, an objective no. around engaging with them if they have an annual conference and. Looking to be, you know, creating the hashtag and kind of creating that back channel at the conference. That's something we did with the Special Libraries Association, and it's still going on five years later, shockingly. Um, still, still going on. But that was, you know, uh, one of the things that we did was to kind of um, shepherd that through, you know. So that could be an objective. But the, the, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, it's interesting. I mean, just trying to figure out who some of the influencers might be. Mm. Yeah, I had the chance. Did anyone else hear hear about the social media expo? We had they came to Ottawa and there was Google, LinkedIn, Twitter. Oh, wow. No, not on that one. Tube socks with YouTube on them. If you got the right answer, <laughs> which I did, but too many people got the answer at the same time, so I didn't get oh. them socks. But <laughs> yeah. the biggest search engine on uh, on the internet. Hmm. No, I hadn't heard of that. No, it is. It's YouTube because the army uses the video. That's why video. Anyway, yeah, so it was any, very interesting, and they were talking about taking advantage of moments for Twitter, and, and meal times in particular, and, mm -hmm. and it all of a sudden got me thinking about, you know, military rations, you know, mm -hmm. pictures of what they eat and how gross it is, or, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I wondered also about tapping into TV shows sometimes, you know, there's a Breaking Bad is huge for some age groups, and, uh, yeah. Oh, and Game of Thrones, winter is coming. Yeah. You know? There's a whole series of hashtags yeah. around television shows. For sure, people people use Twitter, I think, to kind of live blog TV shows. Uh, sporting events, I know during the Olympics, that was one thing that I was super psyched about. You know, I was on uh, Twitter watching the events, commenting, you know, with the hashtag. It's kind of fun, you know. You you, you find out who different people are, so there's, there's lots of things, I think, to do, and that's one of the problems yeah. is there are so many... <laughs> options yeah, but um, you know good ideas yeah. trying to figure out where you can siphon people off maybe yeah yeah, yeah. I mean to even just to start with you can start by just being part of that conversation as an individual and talking to people about you know if you're interested it happen to be interested in that too you're just talking to people and then later you can think about how you would um, engage them more yeah. in things that you're interested in, but even just on a personal basis, yeah. just participating. And that could be an objective. I mean, it depends on where you are in sort of the maturity. And back to Tony's point about the fact that his organization is further ahead, you know, if, if somebody's just thinking about it, maybe the objective is establish a listening station, spend a month looking at what people are talking about, develop a, a, a report or set of recommendations about how to start to engage or something like that. That could be the objective. Um, you know, the objective doesn't need to be fully to the end uh, um, of, of having your team and all of that. I mean, it, you could do different parts of the, of the, of the, the framework, you know, um, and the objectives could be in any of those. Maybe it's a learning, you know, uh, teaching or training uh, objective. You want to get 50 people trained on how to use um, Twitter, uh, or you know that could be that could be an objective. There's lots of things that you could do. Thinking about the learning, mm -hmm. you know, listening and going through the the framework in those separate areas too. Well, we've come up to the half half past. I know we haven't gone a full hour, but um, I'm wondering if there are any more questions or if we should wrap it up. No. I'm good. <laughs> Me okay. Too. Thank you. It helped me. Yeah. Good. Well, this has been a productive session. Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. Thanks, Connie. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>